Okay? So now we will have our second um, example. Okay? So please consider uh, this beam. Okay? So this beam is obviously a simple span beam because it has a pin support, one pin support and a roller support on the other side. Okay? So at left support, so this is since this is pin, it has two reactions respectively. We have uh, AX, let us say AX and AY reactions. And then here, we can have a single reaction BY since this is roller. And it cannot restrain, it cannot restrain um, horizontal movement. So since it cannot restrain horizontal movement, it has no reaction at the X component on, or at the horizontal side. Okay? So before we can construct our shear and boom, uh, our shear and moment diagrams, we need to compute first the reaction. Okay? So in order, so now uh, we need to compute the reactions first. Okay? So first we will have uh, sum up forces horizontal. Let us say to the left, uh, to the right is equal to zero. So AX, since there are no other uh, horizontal loads, we can see in this drawing, so it will be equated to zero. So AX is zero. Then we have summation of forces Y is equal to zero, upward as positive. So since, okay, so let us try to in, uh, inspect what are the forces that are vertical? Okay, so we have force AY and BY. And then we have distributed load 20 kilo newton. Okay, so I'm sorry, I have not put uh, distance. Let us say this is uh, 4 meters. And this is 4 meters. Okay, I'm sorry. I, got, I, I forgot to put uh, the distance. So let us say uh, that one. Okay, so we have. 4 meters, 20 kilonewton times 4, and then 10 kilonewton, 4 meter in length. And then we equate it to 0. So we have AY plus BY minus 80 minus 40 is equal to 0. So AY plus BY is equal to 120. Okay, so leave it at is, at is it. Since uh, we need to find the value okay of another uh, force okay so let us say we have we sum up forces okay we can choose either of the support so let us say summation of forces at b let us say counterclockwise as positive okay so when we are summing up moments and equate it to zero, okay? So we take that point, so here, point B as a fixed point, as a steady point, okay? Or the fulcrum point. And the rest in the drawing, all the forces that you can see in the drawing will tend the body to rotate, okay? So since this is a fulcrum, imagine the rest of those forces will cause the body to rotate. So since this AY, Will, rotate, will cause rotation, okay, so since this is, uh, we take it as an upward force AY, we assume it first as upward, for us, upward force AY, so this is, it will take this body as uh, rotate clockwise, okay, um, uh, assuming that your B is not moving or stationary. This AY will rotate clockwise. So this is AY negative, negative sign. So because counterclockwise is positive. Then times the um, perpendicular distance of this force AY relative to B. Or relative to B, its distance is 8 meters. So negative AY times 8. Then... The next load we can see is this 20 kilonewton meter load. Okay, so first because this is a, a distributed load, 
Okay. This is uh, we can uh, we find it first. It's centroid. Okay. So it's centroid is actually the center of your since this is a rectangular distributed load. So its centroid is somewhere here at the middle. Okay. So it is located. Okay. 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is 2. 2 meters, 4 meters. So therefore, it is located 6 meters from B, the centroid of this 20 kilonewton meters. So since this 20 kilonewton meters, okay, what, what would be its sign convention? So um, then again, assuming, okay, taking B as the fulcrum, the rest will root. Uh, the, the rest of the forces will tend the body to rotate. So this 20 kN meter force will tend to rotate this body relative to B counterclockwise. So it's positive. So 20 times the length, which is 4 meters, times the, the, distance, the distance of its centroid relative to B, which is 2 meters plus 4 meters. So... 2 meters plus 4 meters is 6. And then again, this 10 kN will tend to rotate the body relative to B, okay? Then again, um, assuming or taking B as the fulcrum for the steady point, so this 10 kN will tend to rotate counterclockwise relative to B. So, this is positive since we assume that uh, counterclockwise is positive. So, 10 times the length, which is 4, times its centroid. The centroid of 10 kN force is here. So since this is a rectangle, half of its length, which is 2 meters. Just like this, this one. Halfway, uh, its centroid also of this 20 kN force is located at center. Same as this. Uh, located at the halfway. So same as this. So this is times 2 is equal to 0. So negative 88y plus 20 times 4 times 6 is 480 plus 10 times 4 times 2 is 80. So ay is equal to, okay, so transfer this to the left, it will become negative 480 minus 80 equals negative 560 divided negative 8 is 70 kilonewton. Since this is positive, so our first assumption that AY, our initial assumption that AY is going upward is correct. So this is AY, 70 kilonewton upward. And then we have the, we revisit this formula. Okay, so we have formula AY plus BY equals 120. So, your AY is 70, so we can find your BY. So, your BY is 120 minus 70 is equal to 50 kN. Since this is positive, so our first assumed direction of your uh, BY is correct. So, B, 50 kN upward. Okay. So, we put everything in this drawing so that we can erase this uh, later so that uh, we can... Uh, in constructing our shear and moment equation. So your AX is 0, your AY is uh, 70 kN, and your BY is 50 kN. So now, uh, let's start drawing your shear and moment equations. So you follow where the load starts and the load ends in drawing your uh, shear and moment equations. Okay.
So let us assume that this is your uh, the zero line of your bx and this is your uh, zero line of your mx or, or your shear moment diagram. Okay. Okay. So may I erase this one? Okay. So since this is a video, you can um, repeat this video when you did not understand yet. Or else you can revisit the portion of this video in which you have not uh, understood thoroughly so that you can understand. And also, um, you can comment down on the comment section if you have some queries. Okay? So may I erase this one? Okay? So since we have put all the forces, all the reactions here, so we don't need this one. Okay? So we erase this one so that uh, we can we can proceed to the next computations for the sake of shear and mom, uh, construction of your moment, shear and moment diagrams. Okay, so this time we'll try to uh, compute it uh, using shear and moment equations. So first, uh, we divide it into two sections, okay? So here, this is uh, section one, okay? So I have already okay, written. So this is section one, okay? And section two. Since there, there is actually two, two times in which there is a change in your loading, so we have two sections. Section 1, to which uh, there is a 20 kN meter load from the left support, and then we have Section 2, to where your 10 kN meter distributed load is acting. Okay, so your Section 1, your Section 1, it is from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. Okay, here. So your maximum x here is 4. So we have Ay is 70 kN and then your Ax here is 0. So this is a 20 kN meter distributed load. So your V here, so since we have 70 kN load, it is upward, so this is positive 70. Okay? So, please revisit our uh, first video of this, Shear and Moment Equations Part 1 video. So, you can see uh, the rules on how to construct your Shear and Moment Equations. So, we have 70 and then minus this distributed load, which is acting 0, 0 meters from your left support, which means it is acting from the start or from the from your leftmost support so your A here if you visit our uh, vid first video or our shear and moment equations part 1 video we have x minus A uh, distributed load is equal to negative W times x minus A squared over 2 so your W here is 20 and then your A here is 0 so x minus 0 squared over 2. So, into which your actual I know, not over 2. This is for the moment. So, we have negative 20 times the distance only. X, X minus A. So, we have negative W times X minus A. Okay? Remember, shear uh, equations in shear and moment equations part 1. So, this is 70 minus 20X. Okay? So, to those who have not uh, visited part one part one yet please visit it so that you you can relate to our lecture uh, in this video so we have moment your moment here is equivalent to 70 times x minus 20 just the 
x minus 0 squared over 2. Okay? So, just the, the, um, it, the integral of your shear is the moment. So, moment is 70x minus 10x squared. So, this is your formula for your moment in this section 1. Okay? So, we can already write, uh, construct our shear and moment diagram. So, in this one, at section 1, V is equals 70 minus 2X. Okay? So, we'll start at X equals to 0. So, at X equals to 0, obviously, your shear will be equivalent to AY, which is 70 kilonewton. Okay? So, and then, we have uh, the formula, okay? And then, after x equals to 0, we can pick up points, the end point, which is x equals to 4. So, we have v is equal to 70 minus 20 times 4. In order to find the value at the end portion of your section 1. So, this is negative 10. 70 minus 20 times 4 is negative 10. So, somewhere here. Negative 10 kilonewton. So, since this is a distributed load, okay, uh, so according to our, okay, so what I have discussed on the first part or part one of this lecture series about shear and moment equation, so this is, since this is a zero degree curve, okay, horizontal line, so this should be one degree, which is this, so you can write its shear uh, the, uh, as this. Okay? A straight line. Start at 70 and ends at negative 10. In A, it has a constant slope of negative 20. Okay? So, remember your uh, algebra. Negative 10 kilonewton. Okay? So, the moment, okay? So, since here, it starts from 70 kN and ends at negative 10 kN. So, there is a portion in which your shear is equal to 0. Okay? So, if that is the case, there is a portion in which your shear is equal to 0. You have to equate this equation or this a shear equation to 0 so that we can find that value. Okay? 70 minus 20x is equal to 0. So, in order that your, she your shear equation will be equal to 0, your x will be 3.5 meters. So, your x here is 3.5 meters. And please remember this class. Okay? So, if you have a point of 0 moment in your shear diagram, it actually correspond corresponds to the highest value in your moment diagram in that section. So, meaning in section 1, uh, there exists a maximum moment in that section. So, there exists in, the, uh, in that portion. So, so first, uh, we, can, uh, we can, we find first its maximum value, okay? So, see, at x equals to 3.5, your M will be the maximum or minimum value. Okay? There is only two things that happen that if your, if your V is equal to 0, its corresponding value, its corresponding uh, value is in the moment diagram, it's either the maximum or the minimum. Okay? So, let us find. So, if your X is equal to 3.5, you transpose in this moment equation. So, 70 times 3.5 minus 10 times 3.5 squared is 122.5. So, let us put 122.5 here. Kilonewton meter. Okay? 122.5. So, let us make it larger. 122.5. Okay? And then we find the value of uh, at the beginning and at the end of your moment of your section 1. So, M at 
equals to zero. Okay, you, you substitute zero here. So you will get m is zero. And then if your x is equal to four, let us substitute the value of four directly to your moment equation. 70 times 4 minus 10 times 4 squared is equal to 120. And since this is a 1 degree curve, you just add 1. This, this, that will be at the form of your uh, curve in the moment diagram. Okay, so since this is 0 degree, your shear, uh, the form of your shear is 1 degree. So your, uh, your moment will be 2 degree. So this is a second degree curve or parabolic curve. Okay? So assume that this is a parabolic curve. Okay? I'm sorry, I cannot. Uh, it's hard to exactly say that this is, uh, okay? So this will, this is, assume that this is just, this, this form is a parabolic curve or a second degree curve. So this is 122.5 kilonewton and this point is 120 kilonewton meter we start also at zero okay so the next thing is is section two x is equal to four so x is equal to eight okay so let's draw we have ay is 70 kilonewton and then we have a distributed load of 20 kilonewton meter and then we have a 10 kilonewton meter here please take note class that in order to use do your shear and moment diagram uh, your shear equations uh, your your distributed load for example should extend until the end okay so so then so because it it should extend until the end okay this uh this um 20 kilonewton meter so we have to rewrite uh, your equation uh, your the form of your 20 kilonewton meter load so it should extend here it should extend 20 kilonewton meter load at the beginning till end so this is actually valid but somehow because this is the this is uh, should be supposed to be in this area okay at this portion at this portion there should it should be 10 kilonewton so we do an imaginary 10 kilonewton upward distributed load okay which is also 4 meter in length. Which will be equivalent to this one, okay? So since this is 20 kilonewton, this is supposed to be 10 kilonewton meter downward here at this portion from x equals to 4 to x is equal to 8. But somehow we need to extend your 20 kilonewton meter force until the end, okay? So that we will have, we don't get a erroneous shear and moment equation. So we counteract it by uh, drawing a 10 kilonewton meter force upward force acting upward so that it will have the same effect as this it is at is that 20 kilonewton meter download downward force here is counteracted by 10 so 20 kilonewton minus 10 same it will it will be um, equivalent to this one okay so we have shear okay so we have shear 70 kilonewton minus 20 times 4 times 4 is 8 and we have 10 kilonewton meters times 4 okay so we all add that one okay 20 times 8 70 minus 20 times 8 plus 10. Okay, sorry, not 10 times 4. 
x minus 4. So we have, because it, this 10 kilonewton meter force is upward and is acting 4 meters away from your left support, okay? So please remember that in, in our rules, in the, uh, in the, okay, in the first video, as I have explained, okay, so your A, there is a, uh, in the form of equation for uh, distributed load, W times X minus A. The A here is 4 meters because A is the distance from your leftmost support to the beginning of that distributed load. So this is W times X minus A. Here, this is also a distributed load, so, and downward, so it is negative. Negative 20 times x times, okay, so since we are finished with sections x equals to 0 to x is equal to 4, so we take it as a constant, okay? So we have 70 minus 20, okay, times 8. So we have negative 90 plus 10x minus 40, okay, this is, so we have Okay, 10x. Okay, sorry. So we end up at zero. Okay. So we need to be careful. We might get the wrong answer. Okay. Okay. So, since we start at x equals to 4, okay, so we will, okay, I'm sorry. So, let's uh, check. Let's start again because I, I have an erroneous solution. So, we have V is equal to 70 kilonewton plus 20 since we are already finished in section 1. So, 20 times 4, a uh, minus 20 times 4, minus 20 again. Okay, minus 20 at this portion, x equals to 4 times x, so x minus 4. And then we have a counteracting value of 10 kilonewton meters so that it will have the same value of 10 kilonewton meters here. Okay, Neg so we have plus 10 times x minus 4. So we have v is equal to... Negative 10, 70 minus 80 is negative 10 minus 20. It will become negative 20 plus positive 10 is negative 10 times x minus 4. So we have V is negative, negative 10x. So negative 4 times negative 10 is positive 40, minus 10 is positive 30. So negative 10x plus 30. So this is your uh, shear equation. Okay, negative, okay, negative 40. Okay, so... Are we getting the right value? Um, negative 80 plus 10 is negative 10. Okay, we have negative 20x minus 4. Since it's, we start at 4 to 8. And also we have an upward force 10 kilonewton to counteract that one. So we have negative 10. Positive 40, okay, it's correct. Negative, um, negative 10x. Plus 30. 
So that's the value of your share. Okay. So please recheck if you are getting the right answer. Okay. Please refer to the rules uh, in the first video as I have discussed. Okay. So we have moment again. We have 70x since this is upward and we have negative 20 okay so since we had already finished a section 1 0 x equals 0 to x is equal to 4 so we have um, uh, 10 x minus 0 uh, no uh, 20 times 4 Okay, 20, 20, minus 20, uh, it's, uh, okay, so we assume that it is a continuous, so 20 x squared, okay, x minus 0, since it starts at 0, over 2, and then this one, it is positive upward, hmm? so it will become, Plus 10, it starts at x equals 4, so x minus 4 squared over 2. So we have m equals to 70x minus 10x squared plus 5x minus 4 squared. Okay, so this will be your shear equation. Okay. You may or you may not simplify this one, okay? The most important thing is you can construct um, your shear and moment equations properly. And you get the, the exact value, okay? So then we start when at the beginning, okay? When the section 2 begins, x is equal to 4. So when x is equal to 4, uh, we substitute it here. So 70 times 4 minus... 10 times 4 squared plus 5 times okay plus 4 minus 4 squared so it's 120 120 when x is equal to 4 what about when x is equal to 8 70 times 8 minus 10 8 squared plus 5 times 8 minus 4 squared Okay, so zero. So since, okay, so at x is equal to 4, is equivalent to 120, okay? So since they are equal at x equals to 4, this moment equation and this moment equation, so are, uh, so we can say that these two equations are correct. And then we end still, and since we end at zero, so this is actually correct also, okay? So, okay, so we gone here. So when, when V is, uh, let's find V when X is equal to 4. So when X is equal to 4, so we have negative 10 times 4 plus 30. So negative 10. It's correct, okay? So it's coincide with shear in section 1 at the end when X equals to 4. So correct negative 10 and then when x is equal to 8 negative 10 times 8 plus 30 is equal to negative 50 okay so we have we can draw this one as like this okay so please take note the the slope here is negative 20 and the slope here is negative 10 so this line or this slant line should be flatter than this line, okay? So this is negative 50 kilonewton. And then, since there is a reaction at By, which is 50 kilonewton upward, so we add this negative 50 plus 50. So negative 50 kilonewton plus the uh, force By, or the reaction By, is equivalent to zero. So it ends up with zero still. So this is your shear equation. Okay, and then 
your moment, you multiply, uh, you uh, substitute the value when x is equal to 4 and x equals to 8 respectively. Okay? When x equals to 4, as I have, as we have computed, okay? is 120 okay so since at x equals to 4 this is 120 it's it, it coincides with this one so what if it is x is equal to 8 so when x is equal to 8 is equal to 0 so since this is a 1 degree curve it is, uh, this would be a 2 degree curve also here. So, it will be a curvy linear here. So, this is a 2 degree curve. So, this is Okay. So, since we end up at 0 and we start at 0 in moment, so therefore uh, your shear and moment equations at section 1 and section 2 respectively are correct. Okay. So that is our second example, okay? So I hope you have understood. So if you have any questions, you can comment down on this video, okay? So thank you. And we will have another equation that will be discussed on uh, part uh, on the next video, okay? So since this is... Um, since this is part 4, so we will discuss, uh, we will have another example in shear and moment equations part 5.